Warning. Some content may distress listeners. Grant broadcasters would like to advise that permission was granted for the children involved. Tell me about Michaela. She passed away because people were bullying her. Did she commit suicide? Yes. The hurt in your eyes will never disguise My name is Linda Trevan and my 15-year-old daughter Cassidy took her own life due to bullying. I love you, Mummy, and I miss you. She was just funny. She was just so quick-witted quicker than me and I'd just say something and she'd just fire something back and we'd just crack up and we just used to laugh until we had tears rolling down our face. Mum! <laughs> Don't tell me you're peeing with the door open again! <laughs> I watched my little girl wither away before my eyes physically and mentally to the point that she didn't want to live anymore. She'd given up and um, she she just couldn't do it. I felt like she was slipping away, but I just kept thinking, one more day, one more day, something something will tweak, something will kick in, and and just get through today, just get through today. Um, but yes, she gave up and she took her life in December two thousand and fifteen. Why? I mean, that was my baby. That took me two years and three miscarriages to make that baby. That was almost 16 years of raising her and now it's all gone. It's, and it's not just the past that's gone, it's my future with her. I'll never see her marry, I'll never be a grandma now. My only child is gone because you wanted some sort of entertainment or fun or, or I don't know, just why? One in four children are cyberbullied and that can have a devastating effect on them. How does it make them feel? Let's go find out because I'm going to sit down with 10 and 11 year olds and have a chat about it. They usually say that I'm fat, that I'm overweight and just very, very nasty stuff about me. That I look chubby, I look messy. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Very, 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 very sad. My friend got bullied. Uh, like when it comes to school time she would be crying and stuff and say like talk to another friend about it but the other friend would just laugh back at her and stuff and think that she was lying. So she tries to talk about it. But no one else will listen. And no one listen. I usually feel a little, a lot better now that I've let it out to someone. Hugs okay? Yeah. Have you ever had any really bad thoughts? Yes. Troll Free Day is a national day of awareness to help combat cyberbullying. Created by Mel Gregg and supported by the Bully Zero Australia Foundation.